TensorFlow Lattice is useful when you have global trends you want your model to respect, even if your training data is very noisy. For example, imagine you're training a model to predict the time it will take to get across town. You know that as traffic gets worse, it should take longer. But with noisy training examples and a very flexible model, the machine learning might not pick up this basic trend. TensorFlow Lattice can ensure your model learns the trends you want. So what is a lattice? A lattice is an interpolated lookup table that can approximate any input-output relations from your data. You might remember seeing a simple lattice in the back of your geometry textbook to approximate the sine function. That was an interpolated lookup table on just one input. And if the exact value you're looking for is in the table, you can use it. Otherwise, you find the nearest values in the lookup table to the one you want, and you interpolate between them to get the output you want. Lattices are interpolated lookup tables that can be keyed by multiple inputs, so we can approximate multidimensional functions. In fact, if you use a lattice with enough lookup table values, you can represent any input-output relationship. How does it figure out the lookup table values? The machine learning trains the lookup table values on your training examples to minimize the loss. Lattices can help us represent any function but what's great about lattices is if we can restrict them so that they behave sensibly rather than feeding the noise in the data. Suppose you're designing a model to recommend coffee shops to users. You may want your system to recommend the closest coffee shop if all other characteristics of each coffee shops are exactly the same. This type of prior knowledge is called monotonicity. If you have noise data, machine learning doesn't always pick up these global trends. For example, say you train your model on examples from Tokyo, where you can walk to many coffee shops. So you don't have much training data for coffee shops a few kilometers out, and the data is noisy. So the model doesn't learn the global trend. Users prefer nearer coffee shops. If we try to use the model in Texas, where you have to drive to get coffee, we may be surprised by the model's unexpected behavior for faraway coffee shops. With lattice models, you can easily train a model that captures your prior knowledge about which subset of inputs should be monotonically increasing or decreasing inputs. Under the hood, we express monotonicity as constraints on the lookup table parameters. We formulate the machine learning task as a constraint optimization problem and use TensorFlow to train it. After the training is done, the trained model satisfies any monotonic relationship you choose. Going back to the coffee shop recommendation example, you can specify that the recommendation score decreases with the distance but increases with the coffee quality. The monotonic model can behave much more sensibly on the Texas examples compared to a non-monotonic flexible function. Capturing your prior knowledge about monotonic relationships really helps the generalization, especially when the testing data distribution is very different from the training data distribution. In TensorFlow Lattice, we provide four TensorFlow estimators that are easy to use and fit different types and sizes of problems. We also provide a hyperparameters class that allows us to specify for each feature its monotonicity, smoothness regularization, and how to handle its missing value. Besides the usual L1 and L2 regularizers, Lattice models also support graph Laplacian and torsion regularizers. Both can help your model generalize better to unexplored parts of your feature space and can be configured per feature with the hyperparameters class. TensorFlow Lattice can also help you build customized models by providing calibration and lattices as layers or as individual TensorFlow operators. For instance, you could extend your already existing model with a lattice layer that connects your model and monotonic inputs and have a mixed monotonic model. We're excited to share TensorFlow Lattice with the developer community and invite you to experiment. You can learn more about the technical details from our paper, Deep Lattice Networks. And we wish everyone happy machine learning.